<clears throat> Let me set up the camera settings. Did you see the cats go rolling by? <laughs> Okay. All right. So here we go. Now let me zoom in a little and fix the camera setting. So if anybody's watching, well, nobody's watching right now because I have it on private while we're doing the recording. But anyway, me and Hubster, say hi, Hubster. Hello. <laughs> are going to uh, show these new books that um, Aaron Shepard sent. And we're going to color in one of them. There we go. Nice and bright. Okay, so um, I'm going to show this one first. This one I, I'm going to send to Miss Vicky, Miss Vicky B for um, for her and her daughter to color in. But I do want to do a flip through and show them. And then Hubster and I are going to each pick a page. We have not previously picked a page out of this. We're going to pick a page to color. We're going to use uh, alcohol markers. I just have some Copics here, but um, I got more up there if we need them. So I'm going to go ahead and start by thanking Aaron Shepard for sending these two books. They're so cute. This one especially is a little storybook. So I am going to read the intro to it. Ann Watson and Aaron Shepard. So let me read the, let me read the um, prologue here. Why choose this coloring storybook? You don't mind if I read some, do you, Hubster? No, no. Okay. <laughs> he's, just, he's just sitting here waiting to color with me. It's adapted from a children's picture book with a story by award-winning children's author Aaron Shepard and 18 pages of art by children's illustrator Anne L. Watson. For stunning results, pictures are all in grayscale, but grayscale with a difference. Much of the gray has been removed to reduce the risk of muddiness and allow more natural flesh tones, while deepest blacks have been preserved to provide full contrast. Uh oh, yeah. Oh, you want to? Want... <laughs> I'm sure. I thought the cat was up here. Um, yeah. Pictures are printed on one side only of the paper only and framed with black for clear edges and dramatic presentation. High quality paper, pure white for maximum brightness, contrast, and color fidelity with smooth matte coating to reduce bleeding and feathering and to consume less of your coloring media. Acid free to last for generations without becoming yellow or brittle. Uh, let's see. Um, let me see. I don't know if I'll need to read all this. I really just wanted to make sure I shouted out Aaron Shepard and Ann Watson. It's available in... Uh, so just okay pages may be freely pages may be freely copied for personal use practice on as many copies as you like before coloring in the book color pages may be freely shared show off your work give as gifts or even sell as pieces of original art but you want you know you want to make sure and give them credit so it's skeeter and the weasels is this little book skyhook press and um so Aaron sent me both these books. Now, this is a storybook. I've ob I'm obviously not going to read the storybook, but I want to kind of flip through to show you. It is a story written by Aaron, and it has just got the cutest little pictures. This is going to be so cute. I'm so glad Miss Vicky wanted to uh, work on this with her daughter. So look. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I'm just, just looking at it. He's like, oh, I might want to color one of these. No, this one's going to Miss Vicky. Stop the weasels. <laughs> so anyway, it's just adorable book. And um, let me get, read here a little bit about the artist and the author. So Anne L. Watson is the author illustrator of Katie Mouse and the Perfect Wedding, Katie Mouse and the Christmas Door, and The Secret of Gingerbread Village, as well as the author of numerous craft books and novels for adults. Her illustrations are imaginative collages made from photos of felted animals, miniatures, and real-life objects, along with graphic art creations and textures from Etsy and elsewhere, all assembled and, and manipulated in Photoshop. And you can visit her at www.annlwatson.com. And then Aaron Shepard, the author, besides being Anne's loving husband, is the award-winning author of The Baker's Dozen, which y'll remember I've colored that a couple of Christmases, the Legend of Lightning Larry, The Sea King's Daughter, and many more children's books. 
His stories have won him honors from the American Library Association, the New York Public Library, the Bank Street College of Education, the, Natural, the National Council for the Social Studies, and the American Folklore Society. Visit him at www.aaronshep.com. And uh, then it gives all the credits and uh, to all the, the where she got her images and everything. And here's the baker's dozen, if y'all remember me coloring in this one for a couple of uh, Christmases. There's also the Quackling coloring book, Amazing Grays, which is this one. And look at this one, the Sea King's Daughter. That one looks really good, too. So anyway, this one is going to go to Miss Vicki B. And, you know, she might show some pictures out of it if she and her daughter color in it. So that's the Skeeter and the Weasels. Okay, so the one Hubster and I are going to color out of is called Amazing Grays, number one. A grayscale adult coloring book with 50 fine photos of people, places, pets, plants, and more. And we, like I said, Hubster and I have not picked out what we're gonna color, so now you can pay attention. He's he's reading, looking at other books here. <laughs> okay, so uh, copyright 2019 by Islander Images. All pages may be freely copied for personal use. Color pages may be shared, gifted, or sold as pieces of original art. Book review. We'll have to, maybe we'll sell Hubster's art today. Let's see what happens. <laughs> um, and all candid photos are by Aaron Shepard. All other photos are by are by Aaron Shepard and Ann L. Watson. And um, yeah, so what they are, look, look how cool these are. And so what Hubster and I are going to do, I'm going to go ahead and do a little flip through here. I don't want to get too close. Uh, and we're going to both be coloring. So I want to kind of keep it far enough away. I'll probably zoom in when we start working. But <clears throat> I want to pay attention. He's already look, he's looking at pencil sharpeners. <laughs> it's like he's never been in here before. <laughs> So look at them and, and kind of decide what you want to color while I'm flipping through. So I'm going to flip through kind of fast. So uh, and then I'll let you flip back through it if you want to. I, I don't know which one I'm going to color yet either. But um, I just love the way that I think markers are going to be cool on this. So that's what we're going to try. It's one sided. So I will be cutting them out. So Hubster and I can each have our own page. And then if it goes through, if it bleeds through, which it probably will, alcohol markers always bleed through, you know, they'll, it'll bleed through on the, this paper here. So, oh, look at the camel. They're just, I just love them all. I love all the, the pages. That would be pretty too. And uh, I think this will be fun, don't you? Mm -hmm. Looking forward to it. Okay. So I asked Hubster, mm -hmm. <laughs> I asked Hubster, what he wanted to do. I said, you don't have to. I'll just do it. But I said, he goes, no, no, I want to. Because he had, I think he had fun coloring that Western page, didn't you? I did. So, and he is, he's reading, currently reading some books that he's going to do some book reviews for. Well, I say book reviews. He's going to talk about the books. I don't know if he's calling a review, but. Um, What's the one you're reading now? Um, <clears throat> I have to think of the title. It's D-Day Girls, and it's about uh, four or five women during World War II um, that were recruited by the British MI5 and MI6 as um, spies. And, and they, uh, they were dropped behind the lines, and their job was to uh, help organize the resistance, primarily in France. Um, so whenever the allies made it up the, uh, the second invasion or the second front, which we all know happened June the 6th, 1944, but their job was to go in and prepare the resistance, uh, by blowing up bridges, blowing up, uh, dams. And they really had roads. to fight to get it, to get those positions, didn't they back then? Well, they had to go through a lot of training. So yeah. it's very interesting. So. Well, you have to tell us more about it when you get done. Okay. We'll have to do a video. I think I'll do the very first page of the roses i think it's not the very first page but the very first picture of roses okay let me flip through here that one this one yeah. okay i'm not sure if they're roses but you can make a color i any color you i mean okay um I, I don't know what these are flowers no but i mean see how fluty and fluffy they are yeah that doesn't matter yeah they're poppies no no i don't think so there's poppies are in here do you want to color red poppies mm, no i'll do the first one okay you want to do this one yeah. okay all right, so I am going to take my knife and cut that page out. There we go. All right. Now, I don't know what I'm going to color yet, so let me kind of 
Let's look through. I really like these rocks. Do you know what color your flowers are going to be? I have no idea. So okay. I'm going to experiment. Okay. Yeah, well, if you want to test a color, just test it on here. Okay. Okay. Before you color on your page. And I'll zoom us in and get us situated here in a minute. Oh, what do we have? A little um, a little helper? We do. Let me a four-legged fuzzy. <laughs> hey, hey, Oliver. Oliver. <laughs> you lay down and observe. Oh, let's see here. What do I want to color? Oh, it's a bumblebee. A on bee a on a flower, yeah. I'll tell you, there. Uh, There's some roses. See, oh, maybe I'll color the roses for Mother's yeah. Day. The two authors did a good job putting this book together. I know, isn't it cool? It sure is. They did a very nice job. Okay, let's see if I cut. Aaron that. and Ann. Uh huh. Yeah, they did good. Let's see here, I didn't quite make it through. I need to put in. I bought some new blades, but I haven't put one in here yet. There we go. Okay, let's put that knife away. So the little cat, you're going to have to move in a minute because you're blocking our light. <laughs> oh my gosh. He'll probably lay here for a minute. Okay, so now we have to, let's make sure we're both in here. And, uh, well, all three of us. All right. So, <laughs> so anyway, um, I just pulled some Copics out here. Um, like, you know, blues, greens, reds, yellow, oranges, and some browns. And I just pulled these out, but as you can see, we have anything on this row right here are alcohol markers. And uh, so whichever ones, any color you want to use, feel free. Uh, if you use a Copic markers, I suggest using the side with the gray because mm -hmm. it's the brush tip. Okay. okay? So, and if you want to test, just test on the white sheet. All right. Any more questions? Nope. Okay, so um, should we let Oliver just stay here for a minute? I guess he's okay, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, so wait, let's tilt this down just a little. There we go. So I think we're both in camera. All right. All right. I think I'm going to go with uh, red roses. So let's, and we, neither one of us have tested out the markers or tested out anything. So here, let's move that out of your way, honey. Uh, so we're hoping this all <laughs> this is going to work out. Okay. So just, uh, you're going to sniff the markers. Don't, don't do that. Don't paint just little pads. All right. So let's see. Um, do I want to do it all solid or do I want a couple shades of red? Let's just see what happens here. Oh, let's do one here. Because the gray scale should remain. Do you? The grayscale, the, the shadows should remain. We'll right. see what happens, right? We're just trying out with the alcohol markers. So see how I can just do a whole rose like that? Look. And see how it's still shaded? No, I'm not watching him. <laughs> You're watching your own? Okay. All right. But well, I had so much fun when we did that Western themed did color you? book. Yeah, we'll have to do that again. That was a couple of months ago, I think. Yeah. Did you, oh, you want, you mean you want to work in the Western one because you like the Western? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. I uh, enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Well, it was nice to have you uh, join me other to do a project. You usually just, if you're visiting, you just uh, sit here and chat. You don't really work on anything, so that's nice. And I'm going to color right well. I'm going to talk to the, to the camp. I'm talking to the, the screen, not just you here, because I've got to explain something here. Good grief, you did that already? Look, My you goodness. just color it solid, and it keeps the shadows. I'm too slow. What are you coloring there? I was just coloring that stem. Oh, you want you want? Don't you want them green? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> you do whatever you want. Okay. You do whatever you want. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's right. That's a rose back there. I'm just coloring all the roses just solid red, and I might go back and shade. If you want to shade more, you can get some pencils out. We can do whatever, you know. Uh, I'll, I'll pull out, as Denise used to call them, the crap pencils because she called them that because they were not in a, <laughs> they weren't in a, in a, in a case. Yeah. They're just all in that silverware tray over there. And so when she first came to color, uh, visited one day and, and colored with me, mm -hmm. I gave her all those um, I gave her all those uh, pencils that were in the silverware tray. And then she noticed that I had all those other ones over there. Look behind me. All the, the other way. All those in cases. Oh, yeah. And then she looked at she goes, so you gave me all these crap pencils. And I said, no, 
I just thought that you would like to use the ones that Prismacolor, which are the easiest ones to use. And so that's kind of been a standing joke. <clears throat> Pretty funny. Uh, well, we thought so. All right. So I think that's red. I'm, I kind of went around some of that baby's bread. So I'll probably add some uh, Posca. So let's turn it over, see how they go, it goes through. Oh. Yeah. That's why. Oh, well, you, you want to play with that? Do you see him reach over there? I do. <laughs> but anyway, I think these books are so cute, and it, you know, oh, I, I think they're great. Though Ann and Aaron did a terrific job. Yeah, I know. Right? They should be proud of themselves. I'm sure they are. They've done quite a few books. I think I'm gonna go with the brighter green, and then shade with some olive green. Oh, there you go. That looks good. Okay, I'm getting a little wild here now. Are you gonna do two different colors of flowers? Yeah. Oh, okay. You do whatever you want. <laughs> oh, you're cute, honey. <laughs> I'm just gonna try to do. I'm I'm trying to just do like a base of everything so that I can see if I want to shade any more or what you know because that's one of the nice things about the grayscale. It's all shaded for you. You see. Oh, I, look up this I know. I know. Do you want to sniff that marker? We'll see if he does anything. Look, he's sniffing it. That <laughs> <laughs> right there is part of the base. So I'm going to do that. You are so talented. Look at that. It's really, honey, it's just solid coloring. Well, I mean, to me, somebody that's never done it before, to look over there every now and then, I'm going to stop looking at yours because I feel <laughs> inferior. Uh, it's not really, I mean, if you think about it, I've only used two markers and just solid color, just like you did that. See yeah. how it's shaded? Yeah. It's because the the that's what's nice about the grayscale. It's got the shading for you. Okay, let's see. What do I want else? Let's see. I think I want my, maybe a nice tan table. You so, both me. I'm sorry. You got you knocked me out of the lines. <laughs> it was an accident. Uh, <laughs> Are you still? Yeah, you're still in camera. I didn't know we were going to have a little helper while we were here today. So he's good. He's being quiet. Yeah, he is. He's being good. It's just when I have paints mm -hmm. and things like that, you know, or my pan pastels out, that I have to really kind of get them out of here because remember what happened on pan pastels when uh, all uh, Malibu got in them and she had red, yellow, and blue on her for a month? I do remember that. <laughs> Oh, that looks good. Well, I'm good. Are you going to have the buds yellow and the big flowers? I don't know. I'm just no. going to wing it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> we, we do a lot of winging it on my show. So you're, you're free to wing. <laughs> Feel free to wing. Okay. Now I need a little shadow in there. Let's go with the. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And remember, you can use other colors too. I just got some basic colors there. I trust you. <laughs> this is good. Yeah, it's nice to have you on the show. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. You're a good teacher. Oh. You have a good radio, I mean, good uh, good presence on the air. Thank you. And uh, you're very knowledgeable when it comes to colors and markers and 
shading and styling and all that. So I trust Well, you've you. always been very supportive of my creativity and art, all, always. And you're not just saying that because it's Mother's Day, right? Right. <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> it's been pouring down rain today. So. All right. Yeah, we're going to definitely have to do another one of those Western books. Okay. Because you just like to talk about it. That's why, right? Um, well, I yeah. mean, it's something that you can talk about. Yeah, something that I might know a little bit about because I don't know anything about shading and colors and markers. and. Well, I appreciate you just to trying a page. You know, it, it just shows people that it's pretty easy to do a... Um, a page uh, with just markers. Yeah, and I have a hard time with Crayolas, much less. <laughs> Not that I play with Crayolas. But you know, uh, <laughs> All right, it's starting to look a little good. Mm -hmm. It is. Sort of. Well, you're just having fun with the markers and things. That's mm -hmm. that's you know what it's all about, having some fun. So I always try to get the girls to do. Well, and some guys too, but mostly the girls. Uh oh, got the lines. Shoot. Let's see. Oh, that's all right. Just, you know, it looks like it's just a little bud happening right there. <laughs> what is it, Oliver? You can't go that way. He always wants to go over there where the cords are. I'll have to get you down if you start trying to do that. Whip him. <laughs> we don't ever whip these cats. <laughs> He's going to lay back down. Uh, 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 okay, we're going to have to slide over a little. We love you too, Oliver, but <laughs> you're busy right now, big fella. Uh, okay, let's see. I want the background. And I gotta decide if I want this vase to be. I kind of like it. So how is it how do you choose your markers and how do you choose, you know the colors or what, no, not so much the colors, but what supply? Yeah, what markers are good for different types of things? Um mm. Markers you only can use on a one-sided page. Right. Like if this is a double-sided page, you know, if there's something printed on this side, you can't because see what happened. Yeah. So you have to find something else. Well, you mentioned alcohol. What, That's these kind of markers. Yeah, these are alcohol markers. These like um, these Crayola Super Tip markers, yeah. these are water-based. Okay. So the difference is that when you use water-based markers, they, they you can get them wet. I mean, if you add water to them, it'll smear. Oh. Alcohol markers won't. They're, like, permanent. So they're not going to, um, they're not going to smear if you put, you know, anything else with them. But you can blend them real easy, too. They so blend. Do you have a preference? Do you prefer to work with, or does it matter? It depends, um, it depends on the thing, yeah. Because, like, if you want to do... Like, see, I'll show you here. If you want to blend something together, oh, these are too, maybe too close together. Let's get up. Let me get up around here and show you. <clears throat> so, like, there's some brown and then the light color. And see, now look, you can blend, they'll blend together. Oh, yeah. See, so you can't even hardly tell mm -hmm. where, they, where they blend. Okay. Well, I was just curious. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you've been doing it for a pretty good while. I just wanted to be able to preference and if there was something that was easier for you or what. I like pencils. My favorite is pencil just because I like, I like blending pencils. Yeah. I like to blend pencils. Why, why do you think it's pencils? Why pencils? Because I can blend I like to I like the the blend of pencils. Oh, I see. Like shading, like shading. I like shading. How about charcoal? Do you ever work mm -mm, with charcoal? No, anymore? I don't like charcoal. I don't like the the feeling of dry chalkiness yeah. on my hand. You know, it just feels so dry. I don't like that feeling. I mean, you know, I've had to use them in some different classes and stuff like that, but I don't like to use them. How about oils? Do you no, like oils? mm-mm. Too much too, and I know there's other kind of oils out now that are faster drying, but when I first got into oils, it takes too long to dry. Uh, I see. 
So, yeah, you know, I like acrylics. If I have to pick a paint, it's going to be acrylic paint, color pencils. But I like all kinds. I like what's called mixed media, where you mix everything. Yeah. Like I'm going to do some. I, if I put some uh, pencil on here mm -hmm. and then marker and paint or whatever, then that's why it's called mixed media because you're using all kinds of different things. Mixed media. Now, is that your term? No, is that no. Uh -uh. What it is in the pro world? That's yeah. That's what's in the pro world. <laughs> you're so cute, honey. Um, I don't know about that. Yeah. So um, I'm trying to decide what I want to do with this face because it almost looks like it should just be this almost silvery pewter look already. That looks I, like I, a, somebody took a picture, not a. It is a picture. Somebody did take a picture. That's what we're coloring. We're coloring black and white photography. But your detail is so good on it. It looks like a real. Oh, picture. oh, I see what you're saying. Well, thank you. Um, let's see. I might need to try a gray. Let's see. Oh. I'm going to reach over you. Hang on. Oh, my gosh. I got out of the lines again. Thank and these you. Are, these are Hoo Hoo Heroes. They're like a knockoff brand of alcohol markers that are really inexpensive, mm -hmm. but they don't have the brush tip. See, they have a little bullet nib. See oh, the difference? Yeah. Yeah. And these are kind of like they're not flexible and blendable as that is. So I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to add some darker grays here and then I'll do some blending with a lighter gray. All right, you're looking good, Lewis. Feeling good, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to reach over you and get a light gray. Okay. You're just trying to purposely get me out of the lines. No, I'm not. Hand me one of those. See those? One of those. Yeah, up one. One of those two. Yeah, let's try that one. Let's see. Let's test that out. I think that worked. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I'll use that to blend in a minute. So now, do you let the cats in here very often with you while you're coloring? As long oh. as I'm not using paint or pastels where they can get yeah, it on their it. fur, yeah. Because yeah. then you know you saw what happened when they. Yeah. Malibu was covered for a couple the, of weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Because when we tried to wash it out, it just smeared. Yeah, I remember we tried and tried. Mm -hmm. Did you spank her? No, <laughs> honey. <laughs> you don't hurt these cats. <laughs> oh, you have all different colors of flowers going on. I'm going to have to reach over there and get one of those. Right okay. <laughs> Are you trying to make me get out of line? Uh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm looking forward to you coming on the, and doing a book chat. Okay. You maybe. know, whatever book. And he's also reading a, a book on Walt Disney, but you stopped reading the one on Walt Disney to, to read these um D-Day girls. D-Day girls, yeah. yeah. Really interesting. You don't hear a lot about uh, women as uh, like undercover spies or uh -huh. being dropped behind the lines during a war. So that got my attention because I have a beautiful wife and two wonderful, beautiful daughters and a beautiful granddaughter. And uh, I always try to be supportive and, and uh, encouraging to my wife and daughters and my granddaughter and my grandsons. And anything that they try to do. And you always, you are. And uh, so I, I get a kick out of reading about things like that. It reminds me of um, not not a whole lot, but that because there was a, a woman, at least one, in uh, 13 Rue Madeline. Uh -huh. That yeah. was a good one. And then, uh, but you don't hear a whole lot about women heroes from the war. Right. And uh, 
there was a, there was another one back during during uh, World War One. And uh, a lot of people, most people have seen Lawrence of Arabia, uh-huh. and they, you know, they they uh, picture Peter O'Toole and Anthony Quinn. Are you and, talking about Gertrude? I'm talking about Gertrude Bell, uh-huh. and uh, because because of Gertrude Bell, she was the one that really was just as influential as T. E. Lawrence. But I you, have a book by, about her a biography, yeah, yeah. but you don't you don't hear a lot about uh, Gertrude Bell, yeah, uh, unless you know unless you have read her book or the biography about her, so. Uh, I get a kick out of seeing women do things like that, yeah. and uh, it's, it's always interesting to see some of the things well, that they had to go through. The, you're, you know that the fact that it's interesting to you, and you read it, buy and read books like that, yeah. says a lot. Huh? Okay, oh, hang on, I don't want to get too much gray. And these are these are um, the Who Who Heroes, which do not blend as as nicely as the Copics. But I think that looks okay, blended. Okay. Oh, look at you. Now, do you want to color that fence in well, the background? Well, I, I thought about it, but uh, I might leave it just like it is. Are you sure? Why don't, yeah. you, don't you want to color it maybe a gray? No, nope, t- because I think it looks like a photographer has come up close, uh-huh. and all the things in the background are kind of gray and off in the distance, and you can't okay. really make out what color they are. That's just me. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I just want to, I think I want to do something right here, but I'm not sure what. Um. You know, like it looks like maybe it's a porch, so maybe it needs to be a darker brown. Like that could be a porch. I think I'm gonna go with a dark brown uh, on this one. I like the way that wooden table looks. So, did you do that table? Yes, I did. No way. Yes, I did. I sat here and did it. What was that? Table? It was black and white. Remember? <laughs> wow, well, that table is way. awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I like that. Like there's a wood floor back there or something. Yeah. See, like same thing for this rocking chair. Let's, let's get in that negative space there. It's like a hidden spot. <laughs> it's a little <laughs> chair back there. Do you want to sign your? No, but how long have you always liked art? Well, honey, you you know that I have. You're just are you just trying to make conversation? Well. Kinda. No. <laughs> yes, I've always liked art. Do you wanna get get a um in this little mm-hmm. right in here? Get that white here. Yeah, let's see. Um here. Oh maybe maybe a sil here, try this silver. I think that's test it out on here. Yeah, make sure and you can sign it. So you can just sign it over there. And uh, then you can put over here, if you want to put Aaron, if you want to put, uh, make sure you spell their names right. Oh, let me get there. Um, where's Aaron? Aren't they on the front page? No. On the front cover? No. They're going up on this. Yeah. Aaron. Aaron and Aaron. Yeah, but I, yeah, well, I know, but I thought you could put. I was going to try to find their full names if you wanted to put them on there. Here we go. Let's see. There's Aaron Shepard mm-hmm. and Ann L. Watson. So if you just want to put Aaron Shepard and then under that, Ann, Ann L. Watson. I just wanted you to make sure that you, you know, spelled it right. <laughs> I would want to make sure I spelled it right. Not staying in camera here very well. This is fun. This was, and it's kind of easy, kind of easy peasy with markers, you know? Yeah. Good stuff. I learned a lot. Well, let me have that mark. Let me have that pin. I'll sign mine. That's a quick job, but boy, it sure looks yeah, good. Yeah, I'm going to, I know. I'm going to sign mine over here. Um, and. L. Watson dot Aaron Shepard. And over here, let's do 
So nine million in 2019. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I like them. Like B didn't come out very well. Oh, I got to fix your, fix your B. <laughs> Well, I hope everybody liked it. We just wanted to do a quick little um, coloring and and shout out and thank Aaron and um. You're and covering for, my well, wait a minute. I'm just going to show the book. I'll bring yours up close. Okay. <laughs> uh, and uh, so the ISBN is nine seven eight one six two zero three five five eight three one. And then the other one. Hand me that one back there. No, this way. Honey. This way. That other book right up there. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, I like uh, I like this one. And then here's Hubsters with his multicolored. It looks like uh, something like you'd see in uh, uh, in Sorry, a Netherlands. Peppers. No, in Netherlands with their field of flowers. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then this one's going to Miss Vicky B. So there's Skeeter and the Weasels and L. Watson, Aaron Shepard. So, yeah, I'm going to send this to Miss Vicky for uh, her and her daughter to color. So I hope you all enjoyed that. It was kind of a, just a quick little, uh, let's make sure and show hubsters. <laughs> Did you like it? Did you have fun? Yeah, it was great. And, a lot uh, of fun. Okay. Well, thanks, everybody, for just watching a little brief little flip through and a little uh, marker test on the grayscale. And hubster, are you, <laughs> are you waving? Okay, Laura, let's both wave. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>